doing right now? Hi Brian, I'm doing really good. I started my day with a good workout. So I'm feeling really empowered right now. After a good workout, I feel back to myself. I hope everybody is doing well, despite the amount of girls you've interviewed. <laughs> <laughs> Laban. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Michelle Teresa Imperial Gumabao and I'm representing Quezon City. Okay, so you have 30 seconds to answer this question. Tell us more something about this. As everybody knows, I'm a professional athlete, I'm an entrepreneur, I'm an advocate, I'm a motivational speaker. And all of this came from my experiences of being a volleyball player. I've learned so much, I've grown so much, and that is one of my biggest advantages coming into this pageant. What is one beautiful word in Tagalog and what does it mean? Maganda! It means beautiful. I love that word because it represents each woman, each Filipina, and it says a lot about our culture. I hope that we all learn to encourage our women and to lift them up to be confident and to be empowered. Uh, what is that one learning experience that you have as a child that made so much impact on you? <laughs> I have been uh, highly supported by my parents, and what they taught me is to encourage others, to support others, to work with others. That's why it benefited me as a team player playing sports, and it also benefited me joining beauty pageants because you represent an organization. Working with them, collaborating with them, and uh, being a spokesperson, you have to know how to encourage other people. That is one of the most valuable lessons that my parents has imparted on me. What about during this pandemic? Um, what is the biggest lesson that you learned? One of the greatest lessons during this pandemic, among a lot, is to be generous. I learned how to be generous not only with my words, by checking up on people, but also with my time. I have spent my time putting up an organization called Your 200 Pesos. We were able to serve thousands of families, not only in Metro Manila, but in the nearby provinces. I learned that if more people are generous, then less people will become hungry, less people will struggle, and we will have a more united Philippines. If you win, what do you plan to do more for your community? I have been working a lot for sports. I have been part of uh, different organizations of the government. But if I do win Miss Universe Philippines, I do know that the role is to represent the organization. I'm willing to learn more about the advocacy of Miss Universe Philippines, to work with them, to empower women, and to believe and stand by all the values that they also believe in. What color do you think represents the phenomenal woman? Green represents a phenomenal woman. Aside from it being the color of life, in my experience, it is the color of champions. I graduated from De La Salle University with three championships in my back, and I know that this is a color that inspires and empowers and shows off a strong and confident phenomenal woman. <laughs> I'm biased. <laughs> Allow me to be here. <laughs> okay, so um, you've been hearing the word working from home nowadays. Yes, Bob. So, what do you think are the skills needed nowadays in what you call the workplace of the future? I work from home as an athlete. We cannot have uh, physical trainings. And one of the most important values that I've learned is to be disciplined. Nobody is watching you. Nobody is uh, telling you what to do. You have to know what it takes to become better. And that is my goal every single day. And it takes so much discipline to wake up in the morning, to set a schedule, despite not having physical work and not being able to report to a physical office. It's very important for children, for workers, and for office mates in general. If there is one spot in Quezon City, whether natural or man-made, that you'd like to promote in the world, what would it be? Super dami. <laughs> wow. Quezon City Circle, I must say. It was one of the most popular um, landmarks of Quezon City. But more than that, it's a place that I've been to ever since I was young. And recently, because of the pageant, I was able to visit and film there. And I've seen how much they preserved it. The culture, the beauty. And you can see so much. The tomb of Manuel El Quezon, the Philippine Car Museum, if you haven't visited, is a definite must place to go.
there's a campaign that's called hashtag love local. Yes, Pop. So what local products do you want to promote? We all know Quezon City is popular for the celebrities. Our main product is people, entertainment. But in this journey for Miss Universe Philippines, I'd really like to promote garments and textile. If you are not familiar with Kamuning Textile Market, it's very popular and a lot of people go. And I know that uh, with our everyday activities, being a Miss Universe Philippines candidate, I can showcase the different designers and the different products from my own city. Last question for you is, what's one thing that you think young people should focus on? Young people like you. Young people should focus on their dreams. And uh, to achieve those dreams, you have to prepare yourself and equip yourself. Keep on learning, keep on growing, keep on taking risks. But at the end of the day, our dreams are our own. And uh, no matter how much people criticize you or put you down, you have to empower yourself first before you want to empower others. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The market is so famous for fashion. Yes, because when, when people think about Quezon City, in, instantly it's GMA, ABS, Artistas, but we have a lot of designers in Timog alone, and that's because they're close to Kamuning, the resource for textile. Thank you, Paul. Have a great day. Thank you. I love q and I love being asked questions, especially if it's, about, if it's about myself and my city. I'm very proud of my hometown, so it was a very easy and casual interview today.